Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're taking a look at explainer videos. What are they? Why are they everywhere? And if you're planning to make your own, we've got some tips to help you make it as amazing as possible. So let's jump right into it. And hey, if you're not familiar with us, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, tutorials, plugins, audio, and more. In fact, we have tons of free video templates and assets ready to download. I've put a link in the description down below, so make sure to head on over and grab some free stuff. So let's start at the beginning. What actually is an explainer video? Well, you've probably seen them around the world of business where they do exactly what their name implies. They help to explain what a business actually does. They're typically short and engaging videos that draw on your audience long enough for you to tell them about your business, idea, product, service, etc. Explainer videos condense your highly complex business ideas into a short, highly engaging explanation that even a stranger could understand, even if they have no knowledge of or prior experience with your business. In short, after about a minute or two, somebody should be able to go from not knowing your business even existed to being able to explain the basic concepts to somebody else. Now, on the surface, this might seem like just another advertisement, right? I mean, put out a video to get more people to buy your product or service, right? Well, kind of. The major difference between explainer videos and traditional advertising is that explainer videos are much more focused on delivering information and understanding. It's less about selling the idea of the coolness factor or sex appeal, and more about solving a problem that your viewers might be experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, you can probably still see how there would still be a bunch of overlap between traditional advertising and explainer videos, but we'll dive into some of the hallmarks of what actually makes a really great explainer video, and hopefully you'll see some more of the differences crop up. So, what what actually makes a great explainer video? A great explainer video is short. Your audience has a short attention span, and if they don't already care about your business, it's your job to make them care. Fast. Good explainer videos should definitely be under three minutes, best to be under two, and if you can be under 90 seconds, you'll find yourself in a great place. For example, our business explainer video here at Motion Array is only 68 seconds. Good explainer videos are also focused and efficient. You've got a lot of information and not a lot of time to explain it. So let's strip everything down to the core essentials. This process will help you to more clearly articulate your message because it forces you to really question and figure out what is the essential information that I need to give and what can viewers more or less do without. It's important to remember that in an explainer video, you're not telling your audience every minute detail about your business, just what they need to know upon their first time hearing. This also has the added side benefit of honing in your core audience. By cutting down your information to the core essentials, you're gonna be more clearly and quickly conveying to your audience whether or not they can actually benefit from your business, product, or services. And once they feel like you're speaking directly to their needs, the more likely you'll have them hooked for the rest of the video. Great explainer videos also tend to be animated. Now, this one actually isn't a requirement. You can actually have a really great explainer video that's animated, live action, or even a mixture of both. You can probably think of some really effective explainer videos that were done via live action, but I don't know about you, but the ones that come to my mind first are usually the ones that capitalized on not needing a huge production value. That's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people will choose animation or motion graphics as the route that they go down for their explainer video. It cuts down on cost, which is great. It also allows you to isolate key elements so that your audience isn't distracted by things like background elements or things you weren't planning to be in the frame. When you animate everything, literally nothing is in the frame that you didn't specifically choose to be there, further zoning in on your audience's attention. Animation and motion graphics also tend to be more eye-catching and engaging. Characters and objects can be more brightly colored and can whip in and out of frame and morph into the next section in a way that traditional filmmaking would have a really hard time trying to replicate. And finally, it's also usually a lot less complicated and expensive to make changes and edits on the fly. Changing up a character or environment's color to keep branding consistency is way easier to do here than in a live action scenario. Neither choice is gonna be automatically better or worse for your video in specific, but it's important to have all the information at hand about why so many people actually choose to go down the animated route. But regardless of which choice you make, your video is definitely gonna need to be narrated. 
Things in your video will be moving quickly, and if you're using animation or motion graphics, you're probably not going to be taking the time to line up mouth movements with dialogue. Instead, it's highly efficient and effective to have somebody walk your viewers through the different stages of your video. There's a lot of information that you're going to have to get through, so having a warm, friendly, yet authoritative voice is key to making sure that your audience has an enjoyable experience taking in your information. This also tends to be an area where more people are willing to slack off or not pay full price. But we urge you, please do not skimp or go second rate on the voice of your video. It's incredibly important. And finally, explainer videos tend to be upbeat. Your explainer video may be the very first exposure that your audience has to your brand or business. And if so, your explainer video is going to color their impression of your business. So that's why so many people choose their explainer videos to have an upbeat and energetic sort of vibe. Okay, so that's the setup. But now you're actually ready to sit down and write a script that you're gonna follow. So, where do you start? Well, your situation is probably unique, and there's no one-size-fits-all for everybody's explainer video, but what I want to do is share with you guys an outline that you can follow if you want just somewhere to start. And we're going to be using our very own explainer video here at Motion Array as a template. If you haven't seen it yet, I'd highly encourage you to watch it through from start to finish to get a feel for what we're going to be going over. It's only 68 seconds long, but if you really want to skip forward just to the key points, then you can follow this time code right here. So, you make videos. Chances are you use countless services to create, get feedback, and publish your projects online. The cost of these services can quickly add up, and with budgets getting smaller and deadlines shorter, time and money matter more than ever. So start working smarter, not harder. Introducing Motion Array, the ultimate video maker's platform. Motion Array helps you throughout the entire life cycle of your projects. Use our marketplace to download templates, stock video, and music to create amazing videos faster and easier than ever. When it's time to get your video approved, say goodbye to messy email chains and upload it to our awesome review system to get instant feedback from your clients. And when it is approved, instantly send it over to your beautiful portfolio website, built entirely on our platform, and share it with the world. It couldn't be easier. Make amazing videos. Get client feedback and approval, and share your work with the world. All with Motion Array. So now that you've seen the example, let's go through the stages of a good explainer video. Start with a premise. So, you make videos. Your video will be targeting a certain group of people based off of whether or not they're likely to want or need what your business has to offer. So the premise really establishes right off the bat whether or not they should even continue watching the video in the first place. And here at Motion Array, we help people who want to make videos. And we're going to make sure that you know that within the very first two seconds. Next up, display a problem. The cost of these services can quickly add up. And with budgets getting smaller and deadlines shorter, time and money matter more than ever. Your business provides a solution, but you need to actually contrast what your business provides with the hole that it's actually filling to begin with. By presenting the problem first, you're actually making your business the savior of that situation. And if you're talking with people who are a part of the premise that you initially laid out, you're going to be exponentially more likely to have them hooked on how you're going to solve that situation. Now here's where you enter your business or idea. Introducing Motion Array, the ultimate video makers platform. Okay, so who are you? This is a chance for you to give multiple exposures of your brand to your audience. Show your logo, have your narrator say the name out loud, get your brand clearly ingrained in the mind of your audience. This way, when you start to go over the information about the solution your business is providing, your viewers actually associate that positive solution with your brand. So now, how will you actually help out with this situation? Motion Array helps you throughout the entire life cycle of your projects. This is just a really quick pre-summary of what your business actually does. You're going to be getting into a lot of nitty gritty details, so by giving your audience a little bit of a preparation for the kind of information they're about to receive, you're going to be helping a lot with their comprehension. This doesn't even have to be a very long section. Ours was actually only one sentence long. Now we get into the main section, how does it work? Use our marketplace to download templates, stock video, and music to create amazing videos faster and easier than ever. When it's time to get your video approved, say goodbye to messy email chains and upload it to our awesome review system to get instant feedback from your clients. And when it is approved, instantly send it over to your beautiful portfolio website, built entirely on our platform, and share it with the world. It couldn't be easier. 
This is usually the longest section and where your meat and potatoes really sit. You've just gone over your pre-explanation to prepare your audience, and now you can actually dive into what you actually do. As you're writing this out, make sure that you strip everything down to its core elements. And feel free to bring in that idea of the hole that your business is actually filling, usually saving things like time, energy, or money, or some combination of all three is pretty typical. And then once you're done all that, review what you've shared. Make amazing videos, get client feedback and approval, and share your work with the world. This is where you give one last quick summary to everything that you've provided. Over the course of this video, you've taken your complex business idea and condensed it into about two minutes of dialogue. Now, by reviewing it for the last 10 seconds or so of your video, you're gonna be helping to make sure that when they leave, they're gonna be taking home just the key points. And when they hear everything a second time really quickly, they're gonna also have context for everything that they heard to begin with, helping with overall comprehension. Going back a little bit, you probably noticed that there was an information sandwich happening in our video. You gave your core information about what your business actually was, but before and after it, you had condensed versions of that same information. At the beginning, you had a little bit of a preparatory statement before you launched into your business, and then at the end, you had a bit of a 10 second summary. If you make sure to do this, while also stripping down your basic information to the core essentials, you'll make sure that your audience has absolutely no trouble following along with your video. And finally, the last piece that no explainer video should be without, show and say your business name one last time. All with Motion Array. What's the point of your audience knowing about all the great things your business actually does if they can't remember which business it was actually for? This is why it's essential to make sure at the end of your video to show and say your business name one last time. Show your logo, have your narrator say it out loud, make sure that you get that absolutely locked into the head of your audience. And hey, if you're wondering where you'd actually start to create the visuals of the actual explainer video itself, we've got you covered. We've got loads of animated explainer video kits that you can use to customize to your liking. And we've even got a free one. I'll provide links to both of those options in the description. But guys, after all that, I hope you feel more confident in what an explainer video actually is and like you might actually be able to create one of your own. If you guys like this video, consider giving it a like and even subscribing to our YouTube channel. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.